Well, hey there, and how are you today? My name is Carla, I am an adult doll collector, and you are in my hangout. And today, we are going to take a look at Miniverse Make It Mini Mini Lifestyle. And with this set, you can make, you get, you get plants and candles and like goldfish and little, you know, aquarium kinds of pets. And I think they are awesome, just, they look amazing. So let's open them up and see how they are. So on this one, and I believe this is series, yep it is, this is series one. But I'm guessing that they're gonna need to make more in this series because these have been am amazingly popular. However, I just can't seem to open these things up lately. I used to be able to get, you know, do it a little easier, but no, not now. And then they have a second little zipper here. Well, that one went a little bit better. There we go. So when you open these up, they, their container kind of, it's kind of cool. They kind of go, both, you know twist and turn and when you take it off I believe you could take off both sides you can there we go and it comes with this little thing and it could actually be a shelf and if you use this it comes with it and you attach it down below you attach it down below there we go <laughs> meant to do that you have a display for your creations. I have not been using it as a display, but you have that option. So I want to see what we're going to have today. So of course you get your tongs. You get your three booklets, very handy. And you get your book of, you know, um, I guess recipes of what you could possibly get in this set. So at the top you'll see we have candles and then we start getting into you know like goldfish and turtles and well mostly goldfish you know fish and turtles and then you get into succulents here at the bottom. So I'm anxious to see what we get. Let's get started and see. Okay, so we have um, this box. It says one medium pot. I love, and I keep these boxes too. So it says, happy grow, happy grow. Maybe it's a succulent. Am I gonna get my first plant? I think I am. So here's the pottery that comes in it. Yay, I'm getting a plant, woo hoo, woo -hoo. sorry. So let's go ahead and build this right over here while saving the box, because the boxes are cool. And let's see, what's in here? in here? Oh, okay, look at that. I almost watched my fingers. I was afraid I was going to get them all <laughs> stuck. All right, so definitely a cactus, okay. Everybody has good points. Aw. Lifestyle, pots and plants. Find your perfect plant match. There's actually a little information on here. Plant of the month. Growing pains. That is ingenious. That is ingenious. I'm saving this. That is just too cool to throw away. And this is probably then going to be the soil. Okay, so in here we have, oh look, <laughs> the little spade. I love it. And then we have two kinds of, so we have potting soil and sandy mix. Okay, I better check to see which order I need to put those in. Okay, so we have this one down here. It is a, a tall cactus, I would agree. And we put in the soil first. 
We've done the soil, the cactus, and then the sand. Okay, I can figure that out then, right? Actually, I, I kind of think I should leave the plant in there. I mean, wouldn't it kind of stay better? And I don't know if I need to, do you need to make it cook at all? I guess that's what directions are for, right? But when you see this stuff, the sand is kind of like, it isn't really actually sand sand. I guess I'll put it in and then kind of uh, smush it all down. Really in there, Mr. Cactus, come on. Okay, so we have the soil in and then we pour in some of the sand. I don't think it's gonna take all that sand. And again, though, the sand isn't actually sand texture, if you see, it's kind of, also kind of gummy. So, I think I'll put that in and use this little spade to kind of uh, spread it around in there. All right, and we have a cactus. All right. Now, someone was asking me if these plants can be, um, if this they could go in this oven. So let me see. I'm kind of thinking, no. Okay, so now we know this tall cactus will not go in the oven. One question answered. And I did use this little spade, which is kind of cool too. So let's check out the next one. Now I went ahead and unwrapped the others because I didn't want to have to keep, uh, you know, doing this. So here we go. And I see the shelves from in those because I think the shelves are pretty cool. All right, this is going to be pumpkin. Oh, I think I'm getting candles this time. Right, so we have some pumpkin beeswax. I'm going to have that upside down, let it kind of work its way down a little bit. We have a, oh, look at that. It looks like a little wicker tray. It's beautiful. Oh, I like this a lot. It's gorgeous. And um, once again, paper, you glow, you glow, be bright. That's a very positive message. And let's see, in here we have our little gift box. And what candle holders do we have in here today? I love how they have the little paper on the inside of it. I mean, so you can have gift boxes, which, by the way, I am saving them just for that. So this time you have mini, it's a say mini, <laughs> mini and mini, okay. And then in here we have, what's this? And we have the wax. So these are going to be fairly simple, straightforward candles as well. At least it looks like it will. So, oh, which ones are these? They're pumpkin. They would be, okay. Oh, pumpkin spice candles. How very appropriate for this time of year. Yep, pretty self-explanatory, but the, uh, yep. Okay, well, let me get started then. The wicks are longer than, or taller than the jars so far pretty much every time, which is not a bad thing in, in, from my point of view. And now let's get, let's see if this will work. All right, here goes. Okay, so let's get to squeezing in here and see how it goes in here. I think I'm gonna have to use both hands. Okay, let's bake them. They're pretty messy though. <laughs> but yeah, I had a hard time getting the resin out. So I would recommend if you find candles, turn the resin upside down and just let it sit for quite a while. 
before trying to do it. That would be, that's what I will probably do in the future. But while that's cooking, let's do the next one. So, okay, oh, I get another plant. Nice. Of course, tongs. So this time I have, okay, I wonder, is this just going to be the same plant? Nope, it isn't. Oh, look at this. Look at this one. Oh, that is so cool. I like this. Look at that. Oh, I like this a lot. That is awesome. And another box for the dolls. Yay. So let's see, we have, oh, this time we have this one. And once again, all the reading material. And then we probably have some potting soil, right? We have, yep, we have potting mix. And we have another spatula. Yay. Okay, so let's make it. So we just need the potting soil. It is so cool though how it looks. And we'll kind of uh, squeeze it into there. Before I get too carried away, let's see where I am on that. Let's use your little spatula because, you know, kind of what it's there for. All right, that's obviously still too shallow, so I need to add more. <laughs> it's so cool though. <laughs> I just love that. Yeah, I've noticed on a lot of these, you don't really need to use all the stuff that they give you, which is cool because then you can use it for other things. And I happen to think that is pretty mint. All right, now we would put this in here, right? All right, and we have a plant. Woo! Okay, let's open up the last one and see what we have. This I think is gonna, yep, it's gonna be another Sunshine Candle Company. So it's gonna be another kind of candle. And this is in, oh, very pretty. Look at that, that is very, very pretty. It's very lovely. And then you have a taller one as well, which I also like how they give you a tall one and a short one. So here we go, and then once again, all the little stuff, which I love, I love, I love. Yay, and more boxes. Whew. Okay, so this is gonna be the tray. Oh, and look, it's just like a little confetti tray. It's pretty. Okay, and we have some rose resin. I'm going to put that off to the side for a while. And what do we have here? Have a sunny day. Oh, okay. Of course, the wicks. I knew that. I knew that. The garden rose candles right there. How pretty. And our other candles are ready. They are not as pretty as they could be, but... Still, they're, they're candles. Mm, they smell kind of like pumpkin spice or something. So they definitely have a scent. Do you know what? I'm going to let this kind of continue to settle down to the bottom here. I'm going to put it right in there <laughs> for reasons because it amuses me. And This finally is dry, so I think I'm going to paint this while well, that's kind of doing its thing. So here's how it came out. Here's the in. Whoops. Okay. 
Here's how the inside came out. <laughs> yeah. But I've learned a lot. I learned from this, you know. So do not do like I did. Be careful of how much um, clay, how much clay you put in for one. Okay. So I think though I'm going to paint it this parakeet color because it looks like a nice happy color. So let's paint it and see what happens. Oh, and I'm a. Oops. I do plan on making more so I can get better, but as you know, there is a learning curve. I guess I'm not much of a person for pottery. Look at that. I failed at that. Okay, let's see if this will work now. Oh, there we go. And we'll put them in the oven to set them. And the timer's gone off, so let's pull our candles out. And uh, is there a better side to show you? All right, so here they are. Not perfect, but you know, that's kind of how I roll. Is not perfect. I appreciate you coming by. Today we got to do the Make It Miniverse lifestyle um, recipes and I got to paint my pot from my, you know, my pottery from making from the wheel the other day. Yay, not perfect. It was still fun. So we got to do two cactus and two candles. Don't look at those too closely, though. They're just, yeah, pretend they're, pretend they're awesome and amazing. Yeah, but, yeah, I wonder. Okay, I'm going to admit, all of the um, candles smell like eucalyptus. So, mm. so, yeah, if you're looking, so, yeah, I did that homework for you then. You don't need to sniff them because this is what they, that they, I don't really like to smell too much. I, I won't lie on that. However, these were very easy. I had more fun doing the plants than I did with the candles. I find that the candles are a bit of a pain in the neck while you're trying to wait for the resin to go down. And so I would recommend that um, in the future, if you get a candle kit, maybe follow Froggy's um idea and mix glue with some paint to give it a color and put that in it would probably it would be safer um would not smell so funky and you'll have more controlled results i think so that's what i will probably i will probably not do any more candles with the actual resin that comes in so just word to the wise because I think Frog is on to some. However, the plants were fun. They were easy to assemble and it, it's and it was enjoyable to see. I mean, look at that. That looks very realistic. I like that a lot. I'm and plus it's just so nice to have some some house plants some, and actually some succulents. So yeah. So anyway, um, thank you very much for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, thank you very much for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, would you consider becoming a subscriber? I appreciate my subscribers. Um, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you want to make fun of my candles, you go for it. I'm making fun of them myself. So, and if you want to make fun of my pot, you go ahead and make fun of my pot too. Because again, it does look really sad. I'm not going to deny it. So if you want to say it looks sad, you're not wrong. So anyway, yeah. But anyway, so definitely put comment down below. Let me know what you think about things. Um, sharing is caring. So if you'd like to pass this video along, 
you know, they certainly can't hurt if people are curious about the make it mini lifestyle um, creations and whether or not they can work, whether or not they should work with the oven. And we definitely have ascertained that the cactus does not fit in the oven. So, yeah. But some of the other ones probably would. I'm just not entirely sure that they need to. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, again, um, thank you. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you. You all have a wonderful day. It's beautiful here, but warm. I hope it is beautiful and much more agreeable weather wherever you are. And however this day finds you, you have a fantastic day. And thank you and goodbye.